George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Life in the jungle is never easy, but for George, some days are harder than others. A smashing job, George. Nearly got it. Well, uh, George really used hand here, eh? Sorry, George. As your mentor, I feel it's my role to supervise. Uh, uh, come up, crispy skin. Mm, uh. Meet George Snake! Droll, George. Very droll. While this looks like a joke to you and me, to a mongoose, the natural enemy of snakes, this just isn't funny. <laughs> growl, growl. Squeak, squeak. Oh, I'm sorry, George. My mongoose is a bit rusty. Nope. Not funny at all. There. All better. Now, George, return you to herd. Ursula Wild Girl, so mean! Why does the sun come up? Why is the sky blue? Why is Ursula so mean? Some things have no answer. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like it hurts. No touching! Ah! Magnolia! Ah! It's horrible! Ah! 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 That tickles! <laughs> uh, Magnolia okay? Animals, I need them to trust me. <laughs> and nothing builds trust like a good tickling. <laughs> <laughs> George, these crocs are excellent ticklers. <laughs> what George doesn't know is that while crocs love tickling, Tickle. they hate Tickle. being tickled. <laughs> George? <laughs> Oh my gosh! That croc just ate George! <laughs> we should <laughs> do something! <laughs> he needs our help! <laughs> oh. Why can't George be mentor or wild girl or do science thingy sometime? Why not indeed? Who say that? Uh, Lance, he talk? Oh, I can do more than just talk. I'm a hypno lotus. You can help George try be someone else? Just introduce me to these someone else's and it'll be a pleasure. What? <sighs> Take me to your friends. Okay. <laughs> George loved laughing. <laughs> uh, what funny again? <laughs> now we all hear. George wants you to meet new planty friends. Ah! Hypno Lotus! Get rid of it before! Uh. Huh. George thought Ape say something. No, no, no. Now, get a good night's sleep, Jungle King. Tomorrow's your first day as a mentor. Uh, uh. Today, George tells someone else what to do. Hmm, wonder who knew Jungle King. <laughs> Good morning, Jungle King Ursula. It's me, your mentor. No good morning. 
Now Ursula, as mentor, George Field at... Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, help! Stop! Use wisdom of mentor, George. Okay. George, ow! Not ow! Good at ow! Yes. Ah. Jungle King, Ursula, go see! Ah, Ursula, Miss Fun. <laughs> Wild Girl Magnolia, okay? Do I look okay? I hate living outside. I'm allergic to mud. There's bugs in my ears. And when I try to roar, it hurts my throat. Good. Big one's juicy. That is my tenth one today. Why? Why would I ever be a wild girl? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> hey, anybody see Ape? With me, Mentor, Ursula Jungle King, and Magnolia <laughs> Wild Girl, <laughs> then Ape... Oh! Ape! Ape! Aw, George thought he had brain answer. <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ursula, mean Jungle King. Ah! Magnolia not happy as Wild Girl. George bad mentor. And now George lose ape. Oh, that's terrible news. Um, what that? Let's mix things up again. George, time for you to go wild. <laughs> Wild Girl George better than Mentor George. Oh, breakfast. Hey, now. What you doing? Wild Girl George hunt mighty water buffalo. Oh, you gotta want it, son. George, fierce. I've heard better roars from a sloth. That one in particular. <laughs> Terrible wild girl! Ah, oh, sorry, bud. No hard feelings. Here, take a bite. It'll be our little secret. Mm-hmm. What Ursula doing? Science! Uh. Ursula, stop! No, wait. George, not King Jungle. Hey, we're Jungle King. What's the problem, George? Being wild girl hard, and George lose ape and magnolia. Plant talk! Of course, plant talk. Wait, that weird? Ursula, no like talking plant. Time for science! George, sure, that's not right. Relax, George. Uh, Why don't we change it up one more time? But... Uh, time for George do science. George, make life better with science. George loves science, but science no love George. George not good wild girl either. Or mentor. All very hard. No. George best as king. King of jungle. George still got it. George want put things back normal. Uh -huh. What? Hey, we're friends. Search me, buddy. Wait. If George was mentor, George would say something smart now. Yes. George would. 
Use brain, George. Think. George, think. Friends on vacation. Oh, this is too painful. I'm eating them, okay? <laughs> Bad talky plan. <laughs> George, unleash wild girl, George. <laughs> George no need escape when George have science. George makes special dinner for good friends. Lotus salad for everyone. This is a surprise, George. What's the occasion? No more thinking, fighting buffaloes, or science explosions. Being king, best job for George. That's a wonderful, George, but none of us have any idea what you're talking about. And why is Ursula's half-digested hair in my salad? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm gonna... Ah! Ursula, unmouth Magnolia this instant! Yep, things all back to normal. The Mighty Jungle King, seen here making his famous triple bean chili, wants nothing more than to help his jungle. I like to help, too. The salt's over there, George. Thanks, Magic Voice. But sometimes, even George's best efforts can bring about the very jungle chaos he seeks to quell. For example, saving jungle lobsters from a dried-up pool is a noble act. Ow. Oh. Uh... But a hasty move on George's part ruins a jungle penguin pool party. And dooms the penguins to a slow, sun-baked extinction. When an extra small giraffe can't reach extra delicious leaves, the jungle shirtless hero swings into action. George helped little stretchy horse. But leaves don't just feed giraffe. He's right, George. The leaves hide those monkeys from tree tigers. Uh... And so, after trying to help, but only making things worse... Chili almost ready for George. Sorry about mistakes he makes Chili Cave sleepover. That's very thoughtful, George. <laughs> That's very terrible, George. How could you put so many beans in that chili? And then eat it all yourself? And then make that smell! <laughs> oh, it's stuck in my nose! Oh. George not mean to make bad smelly. George, go feel sad alone. <sighs> George, wait! It wasn't that bad. Better. The Jungle King knows his mistakes ruined a penguin pool party, got a bunch of monkeys eaten, stunk the heck out of a cave. Okay, okay. George, no problems, all George's fault. Be quiet, Sky Voice. <laughs> Sounds like you have had a rough day, buddy. Who talk? Sky Voice again? No, no, I'm just a guy telling another guy, hey. Don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Really? George make many mistakes. Nah, you just got things right the wrong way. Other people might understand that if you dressed a little better. Shiny! <laughs> Aren't I? <laughs> My name's Balzac, and I was made for a body like yours. Try me on. Wait, why talking loincloth want George to have new loincloth? Because you deserve it. And because I'm very, very sparkly. Okay. Ah. Beware! Oh, beware what? This loincloth! <sighs> George Ford. Mm. Oh, comes with pocket! <coughs> Hey, that's my mouth. George, sorry, Balzac. 
You probably think a talking loincloth is pretty weird. George okay with it. All right then. Hey, do a loincloth a favor and open that tiny little door over there. Whoa. George, creepy. George, no, no. Okay, fair point. Tell you what, let's take your new loincloth out for a spin first. Yeah! This is Two of wishing these boring elephants would do something not boring. George, help! Be more fun, elephants! Yeah, <laughs> all kind elephant stuff, see now. George, don't flatten half the jungle! <laughs> whoa, whoa, this isn't your fault. Those elephants should be harder to scare. It's not George's fault? Who would you rather listen to, a scientist or your underwear? Are you wearing sequins? <sighs> Another hundred thousand or so trips and the lobsters will be ready to move right back in. George, fix dry pond, make more water come. Dare I ask how? And what are you wearing? George, make big river come this way. Pond will be super wet soon. Now, maybe. Oh, no. George, you didn't fix the pond. You flooded everything else instead. Um, sorry, ape. Big wet mistake. George fixed. Hey, who let the river get so big? Someone else really dropped the ball here. Who dropped ball? Who cares? It's not your fault. Who are you talking to? Loincloth. Oh, uh, of course. George, did you eat the orangutan's sacred banana? <laughs> banana, banana shouldn't taste, taste so good. good. You threw away the magic boomerang? Should have come back. You ate the Giganticonda's lunch so it had zebras instead? Snake should have made, made two sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> George, no, it looked bad. But why blame George? <laughs> you sure not all your fault? Everyone is nice to George's butt mouth. It's not their fault, pal. They just need to relax. Hey, I know how you can help your buddies. Yeah, George just want help. <laughs> Big door still creepy. And old sloth looks scared. Old people are always scared. Your friends need relaxing, supportive undergarments like me. Then they'll stop blaming you for everything. Balls act very soft on bottom. Make George feel good about George. Then crack that door open and make your friends feel good about themselves, too. Now what? George done here? <laughs> you are free, brother! Let us weave our loom and doom with every synthetic fiber of our being. <laughs> George think that laugh sound a little too evil. Copy! Don't keep stuffing me! Uh, didn't you hear me say beware for apocalypse? That important? You've opened the fitting room of forever and released the underworld underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun. It cannot be unbegun. Our elastics will lay waste to every waste. Our thermals will smother and stifle. We want to wear you. You will be filled with holes and thrown away! You will get stuck in a tight, dark place for eternity! Hey, why you ruin bananas like that? Because if I don't squish them, these squish me! Tiny paint's very bad! 
help George stop them all. I'd love to, George, but I don't think I can. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm doing it. Observed in its natural habitat, underwear is clearly superior to people. Oh, this is nonsense! Ow, 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 okay, okay, um, um, they should never be worn again, and instead, we should let them wear us. Magnolia, evil Andy's up to no good! Use science to stop them! I wish I could! Underwear on a head is supposed to be hilarious! <laughs> oh, George, halt! Come on, that old sloth took way too long to warn you. Blame him. No, George listened to butt milk too much. George, take blame and take off undies. Give it your best shot. I'm a perfect fit. We all are. And we're never coming off. Right. Then George, get all you undies in bunch. That was horrible. George, what are you doing? George, get covered in undies and seal himself in vault. Undies trapped, jungle safe. Stop! Mm. Hey, I'm squeezing things pretty tight. Why aren't you stopping? Ah. Pain of big mistake more than pain in underwear places. George, there has to be another way. <laughs> You'll starve inside the vault. That's called responsibility, George Think. <laughs> George, don't blame yourself. This is all my fault. So let me loose. No! Oh, what is that? George fill up on chili so he survive until lunchtime. Get off of him now! A man done cut! George, you were willing to trap yourself in there to save the rest of us. Yeah, was right thing to do. It all George fault. He admit making boo-boos in future. Deal? Uh, why nobody make eye contact with George? We need to find your old loincloth.